Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be tackling the question of Can the Elephant Protect You from Kill Balls? So, as you guys probably are aware, now that Halo 3 has finally come to PC, it also comes with Forge, and Forge came with a lot of improvements, like really huge improvements. Not just like controls and stuff, but also like a lot of new objects and vehicles were added to a couple maps. And one example is the Elephant from Sand Trap being added to other maps like Avalanche or Sandbox. And those maps also happen to have the Kill Ball now. Well, Sandbox always had the Kill Ball, but Avalanche did not. So what if we use the Kill Ball on the Elephant? But before we get into that, I want to first announce an awesome giveaway from my sponsor Insta Gaming, where you can win any game of your choice. You can find a link for this giveaway in the description below. So if you want to win the game of your choice, any game at all really, then all you have to do is click on the link below and enter the game you would like to win. You can also click some of the additional blue buttons for more chances to win as well. But that's it. That's all you have to do. And after doing all that, you're entered in the contest to win the game of your choice. But make sure to act fast because this giveaway is for this month only. Okay, so before we get into the test, uh, just a quick refresher so people who aren't quite familiar with Halo 3 Forge will understand. Um, the kill ball in Halo 3 is basically this glowing ball that anything that touches it dies instantly. And there's pretty much no way to, almost no way to survive it. There was a glitch that I found a long time ago where uh, if you use like a lot of regenerators and grenades everywhere, you could do a glitch to make the, uh, to make the kill ball not harm you. But that's a very rare case. Now as for the elephant, as you all probably know by now, the driver of the elephant is pretty much immune to a lot of forms of damage, like explosions, uh, grenades, and stuff like that. Not the auto turret though, if you saw that video a couple days ago. The auto turret can kill the driver with a direct hit. But what about the kill ball? Well, let's find out. So, as you can see, the kill ball does have some effect on the elephant. Namely, it, it breaks a chunk off the turret. It doesn't destroy the entire turret, it just breaks like the, uh, the armor plating off the turret. But as for the actual driver, the actual driver of the elephant is unharmed by the kill ball. Completely unharmed. So, like I said, the, um, the elephant driver is immune to a lot of forms of damage like explosions, lasers, uh, grenades. But they're not invincible to all forms of damage. Some things like melees or bullets or the actual like beam from the auto turrets, those can still kill the driver. But as you can see here, the kill ball, the, the, the type of damage that the kill ball dishes out, that the elephant actually does make it immune to, which is a little surprising because, you know, the kill ball was never on the map Sand Trap, so there was never a case where the elephant and the kill ball were on the same map together, not without modding, of course. But, you know, it, it does have an immunity to the kill ball uh, for some reason, which means that the kill ball's damage, the type of damage that it dishes out, is likely already covered under the pre-existing categories of damage that the elephant driver is immune to. But that's just my guess. I, I, I doubt it was like something that was added just, you know, very recently. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, the, dri the driver is very much immune to it. Until the driver gets off though. Once the driver gets off, then as you saw there, the uh, you, you, you die instantly if you get off the elephant. So if someone places a kill ball, you're pretty much stuck in the elephant forever until you get off. But uh, as for the the gunner on the elephant on turret. As you saw, the turret does not get completely destroyed, but if you were to do the same thing and drop a kill ball on the uh, on the turret, the gunner, well, unfortunately, the gunner is not immune to kill balls, which you are about to see right here. They uh, they are very vulnerable. So the gunner of the of the elephant, unfortunately, does not get the same uh, level of protection as the driver does. I'm not even sure why the driver is so is so like immune to damage on the elephant, even from dir direct hits from certain weapons. But that's just the way the elephant driver is, and apparently it also applies to kill balls as well. Which, uh, you know, thanks to the new and improved Forge of Halo 3, we can actually test out. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be interesting. Uh, if, there's, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, and if there's anything else you want to look into or test out or stuff like that, you know, we can do a lot of stuff on Halo 3 now thanks to uh, it being on PC. So just let me know in the comments below and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get a chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!